Astronomers have discovered what appears to be the youngest pulsar ever found. And that's not the only thing that's special about this star. Here is what you need to know about this amazing discovery. Astronomers at NASA and the ESA have discovered a neutron star called Swift J1818.0-1607. The star was born in a supernova that would have been visible from Earth 240 years ago. A supernova occurs when a star runs out of nuclear fuel and can no longer support itself against the inward pull of gravity. Not only is it a neutron star, but it's a rare kind of neutron star known as a magnetar, the most powerful magnetic objects in the universe. If you missed our previous video about magnetars, you can watch it by clicking on the card that should have just popped up at the top right of your screen. This magnetar is located 16,000 light years away from Earth in the constellation Sagittarius. Since its supernova was visible 240 years ago, the star is 16,240 years old. As a neutron star, it packs twice the mass of the Sun into a body just 25 kilometers or 15 miles in diameter. A magnetar is a kind of spinning neutron star known as a pulsar. According to NASA, a pulsar is a neutron star that emits beams of radiation that sweep through the Earth's line of sight. The pulses of high-energy radiation we see from a pulsar are due to a misalignment of the neutron star's rotation axis and its magnetic axis. You probably already know what supernovae and neutron stars were, but have you heard of a kilonova? Feeling up for a fireworks show of galactic proportions, Tomo Sapiens? Then aren't you in for a treat? Millions of light years from the Milky Way, inside the Hydra constellation is an elliptical galaxy. It's here astronomers believe they detected both light and gravity from a kilonova event. That's cool, Tomo, but what the Kenobi are they? First detected in 2013, a kilonova is a class of supernova explosion resulting from two colliding neutron stars. The Space Telescope Science Institute says each neutron in this case was no wider than Washington, D.C. Typically, they're between 6 and 12 miles in diameter. The Institute added that the stars in question weighed between 10% and 60% more than our Sun. That's 4.18 nonillion pounds, 4.18 followed by 30 zeros multiplied by 1.1 and 1.6 times, respectively. It's the collision of two of these ultra-compact densities in that astronomers believe emitted light and gravity strong enough to be observed on Earth. And that's a big deal, because it's the first time gravity and light have been spotted coming from the same cosmic event. What followed the kilonova is unknown. But NASA astrophysicist Eleonora Troya speculates the cosmic explosion may have formed a black hole. And inside that, Tomo sapiens, is what's generally referred to as the point of no return, a place beyond reality. NASA's Fermi telescope discovered a vast halo around a neutron star that could explain why there is so much antimatter near Earth. According to NASA, there is higher than expected amount of antimatter near Earth, a phenomenon which scientists have struggled to find an explanation for. NASA published its study in Physical Review D Tuesday last week. NASA says the star's halo is so huge that if human eyes could see gamma rays, the celestial body would appear 40 times bigger than the moon. According to NASA's news release, when a giant star dies and explodes into a supernova, its remaining core sometimes becomes a neutron star. The neutron star named Geminga is a pulsar which constantly discharges electrons and their antimatter counterpart, known as positrons, into space. As charged positrons and electrons collide with photons from starlight, the added energy charge the light into gamma rays. Since the path of gamma rays are scrambled by the magnetic fields they encounter, scientists have been unable to trace the positrons back to their origins until now. Using the Fermi data, a NASA-affiliated team removed background gamma radiation from the readings and determined that Jaminga is in fact the source of the extra positrons. According to the study's co-author, Sylvia Manconi, at Aachen University, the pulsar contributed about 20% of positrons detected near Earth. This is KIC 8762852, aka Tabby Star. Since October 2015, it had space buffs lit with speculation that it's an alien super science. Except... It's not. Dyson spheres are theoretical cosmic megastructures. They envelop a planet with energy-absorbing technology which directs power to a central location. Some astronomers previously theorized the dimming of Tabby star was caused by this. This star is located 1,280 light years from Earth. New research using data from NASA's Spitzer and Swift Space Telescopes suggests the dimming is actually due to a dust cloud orbiting the star. 
Known as circumstellar dust, NASA says these particles are not small enough to fly into space, but also not big enough to block light all the time on all wavelengths. But they can't be absolutely positively sure, so we're still holding out for the Death Star. For more news animations and explainers, hit the subscribe and bell button to join the Tomo News family. Thanks for watching.